Hey guys, today we're going to go over DeWalt's new DCD998 Power Detect half inch hammer drill driver. We're going to compare it to the DCD996, which it replaces, and show you how much more power this drill has with the right battery. All right, so for the video, I want to make sure that you know what is the DCD-998 and what is the DCD-996. You can tell by the new auxiliary handle on the 998, which is much longer and also has an aluminum attachment where the 996 has plastic and short, but I also put a piece of duct tape around the metal chuck. These two drills are exactly the same, except you'll notice that the 998 is missing the assembled in the USA sticker. The 998 is made in China. So you can get the DCD 998 in a kit, which would end in W1. It will come with an eight amp hour battery, which is where this tool likes to be. With this battery, it's rated at 1,072 unit watts output. It still is the same three speed. It's zero to 450, zero to 1300, and zero to 2000. You do have the same LED light on the front that is going to come on with the trigger. It's going to be low power, medium power, and high power. In high power, it's going to stay on for 20 minutes to allow you to have a work light. That is a significant bonus in a drill if you're a plumber or an electrician. You can also have a light with you along with your drill that's going to last for a significant period of time and is very bright. So the basics here, are almost the same. You have 3,800, 250 BPM in the DCD-998, so specs basically are identical. But the specs don't tell the full story of these two drills. DeWalt's gonna claim that the 998 is 29% more power than the 996, and my goal here is to set out to show you that. So to start out, we used an inch and a half spade bit going through a four x four, and with the 998 and the 8.0 amp hour battery, this is super fast, and we're in speed three, so we are just rolling through this stuff. If I switch over to the 5.0 amp hour battery, I start to get stalls or timeouts at the end of the hole. This is a pretty big bit to be running in speed three, and I can see why that's happening. That would happen with the 996 quite often. Now we move over to a nine amp hour flex volt battery, and I'm basically getting the same speed as the 5.0 amp hour battery, which is a fair decrease, but I'm not getting the cutouts at the end of the hole. So we are not seeing the power increase from the flex volt batteries like we are from the 8.0 or 6.0 XR 20 volt batteries. And just for comparison's sake, I move over to the 996 and put the 8.0 amp hour battery in there. I'm getting a lot of power with this tool, but I'm still getting the same speed as I would the five amp hour battery. So I'm not seeing a huge bump in any performance. If I put the 5.0 amp hour battery in the 996, I'm getting a stall 50% of the time at the end. And there's going to be knots and different things that are gonna be happening with this wood. So I'm kind of expecting different things to happen and I'm not gonna get consistency because wood isn't consistent. Next, I went to a three and five eighths inch self feed bit, and I'm still gonna use the same four by four, so I'm not cutting through. This is an immensely huge bit for something like this. Starting out now, I, I'm still trying to stay up in the ranges, so I'm using mode two. I mean, level two, I'm not even going to level low, level two with this guy. And I have the 998 with the amp, eight amp hour battery. I'm just chewing through the wood. It is excellent, it's fast, it works great. Drop down to the 5.0 amp hour battery and I'm getting cutouts over and over and over. Serious power decrease with the 5.0 amp hour battery. I go over to the 9.0 amp hour flex volt. I'm still getting the same slow speed, but I'm able to cut straight through the wood, which is good. So I'm getting more power with the flex volt but I'm not getting the same amount of power with, or as I would the 8.0 amp hour battery. 
The 996 with the 8.0 amp hour battery just cuts out multiple times. And if I move over to the 9.0 amp hour flex volt, I'm getting more power, but I'm getting still cutouts and cutouts. So there is definitely way more power with the 998 here than the 996. And I think we can prove it to you in that sense. In if you're a guy who's really pushing these drills, you're gonna significantly notice the speed and power difference as long as you're using this 8.0 amp hour battery. Now, I wanted to also do some concrete drilling just to see if there's a difference. Both these two are rated at the same BPM. Concrete drilling with a half inch bit is not pushing this drill and saying, can I keep up the torque? So in my mind, speed was the same between the DCD-998 and the DCD-996. I will tell you that one of the biggest cons of these drills is that they are super, super loud when they're in their hammer drill mode. So uh, that is a negative per se. What I kind of want to talk about from there, since we know the DC-998 is more powerful, it basically has the same exact shell, same exact functions as the two. It's just a matter of what one do you want to buy and what are you going to use it for if you have the chance to get the 996 at a significantly deep discount or do you want the 998. And the biggest thing that I see the difference in between these two, and we've harped on this for years, is the small auxiliary handle on the 996. The 998 fixes that issue, gives you a little bit more strength with the aluminum clamp here. And the length, it just lets you hang on to this drill. For the amount of power you have, you need that extra length and the extra control. It's always been something we've struggled with with the 996 and the amount of power that it does have. Beyond that, you need the 8.0 amp hour battery to get this power. So that brings you down to, do you want to have this large of battery on the bottom of your drill? It is significantly larger than the 5.0 amp hour battery and it does way more. So do you need the power? And again, I go back to if you're a guy who's pushing his half inch drill to do anything and everything you want it to, this is the way to go. If you're just using it for normal stuff on a daily basis, then the five amp hour battery is going to do you just fine. And you can consider the DCD 996 at a great deal as the place to be or the upgrade. Would I upgrade if I was using this drill to its max? which I probably wouldn't be because I'd grab something a little bit larger. Uh, at this point, I wouldn't make that switch in upgrade unless the price was really good on this guy. But it is super cool to have all that power. It's just not needed on a daily basis. So if you want the biggest, baddest, and best, there it is. Uh, there are the same issues between the two. There's a little tiny bit of chuck wobble on the DCD-998, same as 996. It seems like they haven't changed a whole bunch but the motor in the back, and you can tell that when you're starting to look at the two drills side by side. Overall, the thing I proved here, I guess, is that the 996 actually does perform slightly better with a flex volt battery. So if you want to get a little bit more power out of your 996, get one of the 9.0 or 12.0 amp hour flex volt batteries and throw it on there. You won't see any more speed, but you'll see some more power. The DCD-998 or the power detect tools do not see a significant jump in power from the flex volt batteries, but they do see a little bit more sustained voltage. So it will stop the cutouts if you were getting them with the 5.0 amp hour battery, but the 8.0 and 6.0 amp hour batteries really rock these power detect tools and put them at a level well above many others on the market. We're not done with this 998. We're gonna bring that back compared to some other drills. But if you wanna kind of compare this video to some of our other drills where we've compared the 996 against the Milwaukee and the Metabos, that stuff, you can see that this new 998 is a whole new level of awesome. So we appreciate your time, guys. Give us a like in this video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And as always, have a great day.